Welcome back to Crabler Presents Submit Fashions. Today, we are going to talk about a very fascinating yokai. Yes, it's another yokai series, Kasa Obake. Kasa Obake in English is called Umbrella Ghost. So, as the name's called, its appearance actually looks like an umbrella. Kasa Obake doesn't look like the mundane umbrella that we use in our daily life. In a matter of fact, it appeared way before we were born, or at least I was born, in an ancient time. Thus, its, exper- uh, its appearance is more to like a, a traditional Japanese umbrella. Besides of the traditional Japanese umbrella, Kasa Obake appearance basically is like this. There's one large eye in the, in the middle of the traditional umbrella, then a protruding long tongue that adds to its eerie appearance. Normally, you'll find two hands on the side of the umbrella and on the bottom end, there's one leg. So, how Kasa Obake uh, travels basically is hopping by one leg. But rarely, you'll find two legs Kasa Obake in some uh, mythologies or folklore. The earliest documentary of Kasa Obake can be traced back to Edo period from 1603 to 1868. A lot of illustrated uh, scrolls and books during this era depicted various yokai. This included Kasa Obake as well. According to ancient recording, Kasa Obake was believed to come to life after a regular umbrella reached its 100 years of birthday. Upon reaching this significant milestone, the spirit of Umbrella would be infused with supernatural energy, transforming it into a living, breathing yokai. The reason of why such folklore appear actually is served as a cautionary reminder to cherish everyday objects. Just like this TY toys. There are a lot of stories about Kasa Obake, and one of them is like this. One of the most popular stories featuring Kasa Obake revolves around a traveler who sought shelter from a heavy rainstorm under a large abandoned umbrella. To his astonishment, the umbrella suddenly sprouted a single leg, an eye, and a mouth. Frightened yet intrigued, the traveler watched as the Kasa Obake introduced itself and began dancing before his eyes. In some variations of the story, the Kasa Obake would sing and perform humorous acts, creating a surreal and entertaining experience for the traveler. However, not all encounters with the Kasa Obake were like hearted. Some tales portray it as mischievous creatures that would jump onto people's back and refuse to let go until they reach a specific destination. Despite to its supernatural and also mischievous nature, Casa Overkill was not necessarily um, malevolent, but rather playful and unpredictable. Uh, so it makes it look like a whimsical yokai. And first time! There's one thing when we talk about yokai, we should always be what? One, two, three, four, five. Ding, 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 ding. Respect! And you will respect my authority! Japanese yokai is very emphasized on politeness and also respect. Legend has it that certain individuals who treated their umbrella with respect and care might earn the trust and friendship of the Kasa Oke. And these fortunate few will be blessed with good fortune and protection as well, as the Kasa Obake would lend its supernatural power to assist them when they needed it. So... Cherish and take care of all every item and objects in your house, and you'll be blessed with good fortunes. There are two places that you can spot a Kasa Obake. The first one is Higashiwa, uh, where on rainy days, an umbrella will appear in valleys, and those who seize it will cover and not be able to move their feet. Oh, the second location is Totori, Japan. This yokai is called Yure Gasa. It's advanced versions of Kaza Obake because it will blow people up into the sky on a windy day. So basically, Kaza Obake is slightly different than other yokai like Kappa or Sashiki Warashi. But other yokai can be said to live in another spiritual realm. 
The Casa Abake is more to uh, like a unique yokai that is often seen as a reminder to cherish our possessions. It is a gentle, gentle reminder to appreciate the things we have no matter how small and insignificant they may seem. And that's the end of Casa Abake. Thank you for watching. And guys, if you like this topic, if you like this channel, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video, give me a like. And I'm going to see you again next week with another mythology and folklore. Bye!